Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Getting ready, <coughs> oh, excuse me, here to do your love reading for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits and leave the rest. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Just click on that link and you can schedule your appointment. Um, it's either a 30, di a 30 minute or a one hour phone call, okay? Virgo, welcome to my channel and thank you for coming back. Um, and hello to all of my new subscribers. My name is Kelly. So listen, Virgo, um, I've been called to do something a little differently. I'm going to change the format uh, to see how this goes uh, today. I'm going to do the uh, Celtic cross because, Virgo, I have to tell you, I want to try to focus a little bit more on your energy, a little bit of the person you may be dealing with or if there's somebody new coming in. Um, but I feel like focusing more on you Um because the other readings, it just feels like I was focusing a lot more on the other person. So let's just try to change it up a little bit and see how things go. Okay? And um, and you guys can leave comments below the video and let me know if you like this format and if this works for you. And maybe I'll just mix it up a little bit here and there. Okay? But I will touch on the other person. All right. So I don't read reversals. So, all right. Past position, Page of Swords current position the page of cups what's driving the reading is the world crowning is strength the challenge is the hanged man the near future is the devil your advice two of wands what's external to you the other person the lovers and the moon um, your hopes and fears the nine of wands and the outcome is the five of swords and the Ace of Pentacles, and I will pull some clarifying cards, but let's take a look and see what the love messages are here for you. Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, what are Virgo's love messages? What is the love energy happening here for Virgo? Okay. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So, Virgo, you and your person might be in separation right now. There may be, or in the past or currently, um, or it's something that's coming up very soon, okay? Or you may be separated from somebody, whether it's, you know, you were married and now you're in separation or you have been. Um, there's definitely an energy here of Virgo. It feels like you are separating yourself from a person, place, or a thing. Um, you're moving away from something right now pulling away from something this is your partner so it could be you making a conscious de decision here to not be involved with something getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens for some of you this could be a lot to do with you just trying to like get getting to know yourself better in regards to a particular relationship or something that's been going on with someone where maybe there's like a need to see clarity i feel um but there's also for somebody somebody here could be speaking to somebody else and trying to get to know somebody else at this time meaning you you might be seeking or talking to others um and or maybe there's one particular person that you're both trying to get to know each other there is also an energy here of while you and your person are separate um it kind of feels like um, you know Virgo it's like thinking about what things to reveal to somebody or some type of secret it feels like your person too I don't feel like they're I, I'm not sure that they're talking to or getting to know anybody else at this time I mean they could be and if you know that for a fact it's possible while you're in separation but it very well could be both of you but there's a revelation here coming while in separation um, something like maybe I really didn't know my person as well as I thought I did 
Okay, so let's take a look at the past energy. The Page of Swords is here. So <clears throat> a lot of spying, uh, a lot of communication, truthful communication. Um, you gave some truthful communication to somebody in the past, okay? Um, you were sharp. You were very curious about something. Uh, maybe you were spying, trying to get some truth, okay? Watching something or somebody here, uh, or you saw something, and there was some direct communication that came out, okay? Three of Wands here to clarify. So I feel like you were waiting for something with someone in the past and trying to get clarification on um, some results or something about travel or um, expanding or moving forward. There's something that you put out there in the past and it feels like it left you in this position of like not knowing, just waiting. You put something out there and you're waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for some answers or some communication of some sort because three does represent communication or union, okay, or advancement trying to get some information. Now the current energy here is the Page of Cups. So you have some communication definitely coming towards you from somebody. It could be a Pisces, could be a Capricorn, it could be a Leo, it could be a Taurus, Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Gemini, and yeah, we said Pisces. So I definitely feel like there's some communication coming in for you in the present. The challenge here is that it's really difficult situation because it feels like this person cannot move from where they are. Okay. I do feel like there's like love messages or texts coming to you okay which is the page of cups it could be new love for some of you um you might be communicating with somebody new or it could be a past person and you know i do feel like you're in separation from somebody right now and i feel like that person that you're in separation from you're not communicating with at this time. And there may be somebody else here that you are exchanging flirty messages with back and forth. But the hanged man is telling me like the challenge here, the obstacle is having movement. Now this could very well be because of things that are going on in the world at this time and there's not an ability to move forward. But it kind of feels like... Um, you know it, it feels like okay well this is where we're at right now and uh somebody's saying this is where i'm at right now this is what's going on in my life and i really can't make any formal movement or physical movement towards you so you guys might just be communicating um via text um or online somehow or um, some kind of app, messaging app of some sort. Let me just get a clarifying card for the hanged man. Why is the hanged man here? Oops. Oh, wow, the lovers. <laughs> wow, Virgo, you've got somebody here that really wants to make a connection. And I am seeing that here with this person as well, with the lovers. You've got someone here that you are, this is twin flame for sure, that this person may be communicating with you right now and is really, like you're opening their, their eyes, they're, they're, they're feeling something based on the communication that you both are having. Now again, this could be, um, I'll tell you what, this could be a new situation. And if I get the Six of Cups, then that really will, or any, any of the other cards that are indicative of reconciliation, I'll tell you if that comes out and I'll touch base on that. But right now, this feels like new love coming in for you here, but it can't come to fruition just yet because somebody might be in a contract or there could be uh, somebody here is separate is in the middle of a, a divorce or they're separating from someone okay so nothing can be done official or it's what's going on in the world because you do have the world card here okay so 
waiting for something to end, waiting for some changes to happen in the world, okay? Completing some kind of a goal, could be a lesson. This could be about travel, um, could be about em uh, immigration. You guys could be at a distance and that three of wands could be indicative of that. Let's take a look here at the world. What is going on here? Because I feel like there's a new chapter which driving this reading is to have a new beginning and a brand new start in your life, Virgo. Okay, yep, the magician. Wow, okay. Manifesting, like really putting your cards, laying everything out on the table. You're ready for a brand new journey in your life. You might have already taken the risk of some sort with someone. Okay, the nine of wands. Wow. Virgo, you are really being persistent and you've got your you've got boundaries set. If this is someone from your past coming back who's trying to come back to you. Um, you're ready to manifest change in your life, but you are, I, you know what, you guys, I have a habit of shuffling my cards while I'm talking, so I'm trying to get out of the habit of doing that, so please bear with me because I don't like to have this sound in the in the microphone in your ear. So you're standing your ground about something here. You are, you're maintaining some kind of boundary or keeping some kind of boundary with somebody because you're, you don't want to let anybody come in and destroy what you're trying to manifest this new beginning in your life here. Okay, this is how I feel. And whether this is with somebody new or somebody old returning, either way, you're in between right now. And either way, see, I did it again. You're trying to get yourself to a position where you aren't overly vulnerable with somebody. Okay, let's take a look at strength here. Okay, King of Swords. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, energy. Hmm. Virgo, you have somebody on your mind. Now, it doesn't have to be air, but on your mind, it's like, does this person have the courage to come towards me? Or will they take a chance? Are they brave enough to come towards me? That's what you're saying. That's what you're thinking in your mind. Like you're looking for someone who is going to initiate and make moves. Okay. Um, and you're kind of not sure about this person right now because it's a page of cups energy. So it's very sweet and flirtatious, but it's not serious. And this person is or may be telling you that they have intentions to be with you and they do want to come into partnership and that they I do feel like they're like they they're feeling that deep love for you um and they are make they want to make this decision for you both to make this decision to come together but they have this stagnant energy right now okay so you're kind of like not taking it too seriously because it's page energy okay so let's take a look at the devil energy okay and the star all right virgo um All right, I will say this. This could be somebody who comes in or shows up. The energy in the near future is a very obsessive energy. This is Aquarius and Capricorn. Somebody could be on the cusp. But the energy that's coming through here in the near future is... Yeah, it could be somebody with a star. Uh, re this is renewal. So it could definitely be some kind of like renewing of a relationship from the past. Um and for others, there's hope here. But with the devil, it, it you know, Virgo, this could be someone in the public eye or you're in the public eye and someone's obsessed with you, okay, or vice versa. But it kind of feels like it's a very sexual, freeing kind of thing going on here with the devil. I mean, somebody is definitely going to they're addicted to you they're they're obsessed with you there's greed here i mean this person though the energy surrounding both of you is a lot of hope and there's hope for some kind of re renewal but i don't feel like 
I don't feel like you're really hoping to get in a toxic relationship. I feel like some of you are hoping that this is not what this is going to be or things are not going to turn out to be very toxic or feel unhealthy for you, you know. Um, <laughs> trying to see trying to keep the faith and trying to have or trying to see the light in a situation that is very unhealthy this is what i feel i'm going to pull another card for this oh they just gave me the nine of pentacles wow okay i feel like there's somebody here who is very well off makes a lot of money very financially independent might live a life of luxury in a lot of ways um, has a lot of solo pleasure pleasures and financial gains i feel like going forward um, there is a pull towards one another and it, it's a very strong pull it's almost difficult to break this chain between the two of you these chains um, I feel like both of you are financially independent and hopeful, but at the same time, um, this is a card of being single. So I'm not sure. I mean, you're, you're coming in single. This person's coming in single, but I'm not sure that somebody here might be just very hesitant about getting involved looking for it's like um somebody's looking to see if this person is coming in with this devil energy or they're coming in with this beautiful healthy hopeful star energy so it's kind of like staying single until i know for sure that might that's really what i feel like is here but you're at a crossroads and your advice here is you have to decision that you need to make so your advice is going to be a decision you're at a crossroads which way do you go which do you do some of you might have a choice between the past and a present person coming in to your life okay let's get a clarifying card for the two yeah the wheels the wheel of the year that's the wheel of fortune so this is like you're at a turning point here and i feel like your advice is to do what's best for you at this time virgo ask like say to yourself when you go to do something before you do the, something say to yourself is this what's right for me not anybody else is this what's best for me right because you will have a decision that you need to make here And this is also a card of waiting for results. So you may be needing, uh, you might be in a position here waiting to hear something back because you can't make a decision yet. But with this Wheel of Fortune, I feel like you've got a time limit on it because life is passing by. With this wheel, I mean, you know, when it's favorable to you, you'll make this decision. But with this Wheel of Fortune, you know, that's a wheel. Wheels are meant to be in motion. And there's only so long that you're going to wait for something now let's take a look at this person's energy a little bit more here okay they have the lovers and i definitely feel like even though i was saying when i said here about this person i feel like this is your energy as well um there's something here in the center of this reading in the present that's saying it's not the right time timing is bad here with the hanged man okay the best that two people can arrive at is to just try to stay open and understand one another right here but the best that you guys can do is really just have some kind of communication um, like messages of some sort all right so this person has the lovers and the moon okay these two cards together kind of makes me feel like um, there's some hidden things there are some things that are not fully revealed yet by this person. And that could be why the getting to know each other card is here. Because there's more to be revealed between the two of you. Okay. And I do, you know, I have to tell you, I mean, it feels, if I had to, on a scale of 1 to 10, the 1 being the old person and 10 being the new, I'm going to go around an eight because this feels more so like a new person it doesn't feel like the past or a past energy okay um there's not enough information at this time from this person they haven't revealed everything so it may feel like they're giving off very deceptive energy here okay 
And I also feel like this is just the energy that they're in right now, but they are seeking this loving partnership with you. Let's take a look at the lovers. Okay, three of pentacles. You know, this person wants to learn about you, Virgo. They want to understand you. Why is the moon here? Okay, nine of swords. So this person has a lot of deep anxiety. They have a fear. I feel like they tell you things that might seem like lies, but they're really saying uh, things a particular way because they have great anxiety and insecurity and fear. And before this card, we have the Eight of Swords, before the Nine of Swords. The Eight of Swords is very insecure, self-sabotaging energy. So if there are some things in your communication with this person that come across as like half the story are not full, like it's not enough information, or you're getting bits or pieces, <clears throat> they're doing it on purpose because there's extreme amount of mental stress with this person anxiety grief maybe even depression and these are things that they are hiding and they don't want you to see but with the three of pentacles this person is definitely interested in the teamwork of a relationship collab like having a thing here with you three of pentacles can be a marriage card so it's all about learning about you understanding you um you understanding them now the knight of wands is here in the position of hopes and fears so there is a hope that you um hope that this person is their passion is backed up by their action and that they do come towards you and that they mean what they say and they prove it and they show it um but you fear that this person's just going to come in and be one and done okay so these are your these are your hopes and your fears okay now the outcome is the Five of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Very interesting. Let's take a look at the Five of Swords. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, you just gave me the Fool. All right, the outcome is this person is going to push away everyone and anyone to try to make this happen. Okay, um, look at the Five of Swords here. Now this can be a card of uncertainty um, or change but it's also um, a card of freedom. You see how he's got his swords there and there's two other people. He's basically like saying, he's shutting people out. He's shutting people out, right? He's got three swords in his hand, so he's breaking some other people's hearts <laughs> or he's saying no to other people um, so he can take this risk, this leap of faith with you. He or she, please excuse me, he or she. We are not gender specific. And then come in with some solid offer. Initiate a solid offer with you, like a solid investment, okay? And I feel like the energy that's playing out right now with this person that you guys are communicating right now is they, they definitely, like their eyes are open with the hanged man in the sense that they are, they have a totally different perspective on love right now. Um, based on your communication or the communication that you're both having now again if this sounds like your past person apply it however you like i will say that it is possible it is because the star is here and this can be a card of renewal you know but i also feel it could be both and i just want to leave that there but let's take a look and see what the love messages are love messages for virgo How did I do? I tried not to keep shuffling. How did I do? <laughs> okay. Someone is secretly longing for you, Virgo. Hmm. Okay. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Healing is happening here. Oh my gosh, obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts with you. Virgo, that's why that devil card is here. I mean, this person, whoever they are, past or present, I mean, it's really just going to depend here. I feel, I will say, I feel like a past person is very obsessed with you for some reason, maybe because you're separated at this time. 
and they're trying to heal some past wounds or things like that in regards to the relationship that might have caused problems in the relationship there but they're longing for you but they're not saying anything okay it's all in the secret okay and a decision it's time to decide about this relationship okay decision is definitely going to be made here about a connection could be about the past person and about somebody new some of you might decide that you're done with the past you might have already decided that and you're you're ready to move forward with somebody new here that you've been communicating with or others it could be opposite you might decide that you're not going to go forward with someone new if an old person comes back and they really get some healing in and there's renewal of the relationship so that's why i kind of feel like you're in transition you're at a crossroads right now virgo it's like if the person from the past is able to heal things and come correctly to you you know in the way that you need them to then you may consider it but you're also open to somebody new and there is somebody new coming in here for you okay children are an important part of this relationship and okay there's new love or re recommitment to love that could be developing here so i kind of feel virgo you're like oh i just keep hearing stay or go all right let's take a look at your charm a couple of charms here oh wow okay you've got the om and you have the lotus flower now how does that resonate for you if you're connected to the om or the lotus flower in any way these are very asian uh, symbols okay so that could be a connection could also be that you're meditating or you're on some kind of a spiritual journey at this time maybe you've got lotus tattoos or an arm or something somewhere around you or you've seen these things i want to get another um you know when these gold ones come out i'm kind of like what the heck are these okay we have a watermelon we have a watermelon so i just heard that song watermelon sugar i don't know if that's a song you just heard or you like and we have a koi fish okay something's going on here maybe you're eating watermelon or chewing watermelon bubble gum oh my gosh that's my favorite but i don't know if anybody would be chewing that at at our age <laughs> or um there's watermelon somewhere near you or you're cutting it up or it's that there's a song that song that i was hearing and then this somebody's walk listening to this walking around like an aquarium or something or there's like um a fish pond somewhere or there's like drawing a koi fish or doing something looking at your fish in a fish tank or something hopefully you're not giving your fish watermelon <laughs> All right, so we have a couple more charms that I just wanted to get for you guys. Okay, we have a diamond here. You're a true gem, Virgo. Shine bright like a diamond, I'm just hearing. And then we've got, I'm just there, ask Spirit which one they want me to, which one, did, I've got three. Which one do you want me to show them? Okay, this one. Oh, we're back to the honeybee or a wasp. I don't know what's going on, Virgo. Either you have a really sharp stinger or you're just sweet like a honeybee. You're kind of like a little bit, I think you're a little bit in the, in the middle here. Do you sting or do you make honey, Virgo? What's your decision? <laughs> do you sting someone? <clears throat> are you angry or are you feeling loving what are your feelings what are your emotions at this time what what's coming up as you're listening to this reading because i know some of you do not want to go back with the past and you're ready for a brand new start with someone and a healthy healing relationship but you're very hesitant um, you want to get to know someone a little bit more while you're in some kind of separation from a partner but you're also 
kind of hoping in a lot of ways that a separation will give you and your past partner, some of you, an opportunity to, to reveal things to each other, to deepen the bond. I don't know, Virgo, I just kind of feel like you're you're very much as well in the hangman energy where you're just staying put right now because you really are not sure what path you're, you want to take here. Okay, but you've got a limit. <laughs> you have a time limit. Virgo, you're not going to wait forever. So, all right, Virgo, I'm going to leave your message there. I hope you enjoyed the Celtic Cross. Leave me comments and let me know if this is if this works for you. And uh, the majority of you that say yes, then I will keep doing it. And if you guys want me to revert back to just focusing on the past person totally, then we can do that as well. But I kind of feel like a lot of you are not trying to be in that energy i know i hear sometimes you guys are like i'm sick of the past i'm done with the past can we have new love so uh i i will tell you there's there's definitely new love coming in um so this message i'm making this for today this celtic cross reading but it can go way out into august okay but i'll put one up every day to just go way out into august so it's like getting a full month august reading every day all right, you guys, thanks. Make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel and hit the link if you want a personal reading and I will see you guys very soon. Take care.